history of this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, before rap niggas been who he was, we been throwing parties and going to parties, showing up 30, 40 deep, you know what I'm saying? We been getting money, we been doing all that, you know what I'm saying? Before we ever made a season and shit. Mm -hmm. So niggas know, you know what I'm saying? We, we, done, we done put work in, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, niggas know what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I don't want to say too much, but niggas know we, we ain't to be played with, you know what I'm saying? It looks like a typical neighborhood street in Detroit. It's also a crime scene where a local grandmother's home was targeted. It was late 2015 when this home on Alger Street was hit. They was just emptying the clip and uh, we hit the floor because we were scared. I didn't know if they were shooting in my house. What happened here on Alger Street was just one of many criminal activities involving the Woods brothers. Antoine and Austin have just been sentenced for their crime spree. And now the defenders are learning exactly what went down. According to the sentencing memorandum, the brothers conspired to murder a rival who had embarrassed them on social media. Court records show brothers Antoine and Austin were gang members on the west side of Detroit involved in drug dealing and intimidation. They were known to post on social media to enlist others to engage in violence. The Woods brothers' reputations suffered a blow on social media after an altercation at Fairlane Town Center was caught on video with a known rival known as Baby James chasing the Woods brothers throughout the mall. That video was posted to social media. The brothers were humiliated and according to court documents, they wanted revenge. Prosecutors say a shootout outside of a local strip club would occur, a shooting at two homes, and then about midnight on December 20th of 2015, a drive-by shooting of baby James' grandmother's home. Random shooting, just one after another. Three people were inside, including a young child. Fortunately, no one was hit. After the smoke cleared and we got up off the floor, I came out and I, I ain't see nobody, but then later police pulled up and they was everywhere. After five weeks, a jury convicted the Woods brothers of various racketeering and firearms offenses that were connected to that conspiracy to murder charge. We checking back in, man, a humble soul. H and I see Pesh out of Detroit. You know, he's currently locked up serving 32 years, you know, in the feds. He's been locked up since 2017. His brother, HNIC Ken, he's also locked up serving 14 years. But um, Pesci, uh, he's done an interview talking about, you know, his incarceration and how it's impacted his life with this platform. Um, a dude by the name of King Knotts World. King Knotts, he's also locked up from what I understand. But um, but during that conversation, man, Pesci opened up about his incarceration about how, you know, going to prison actually saved him from himself. He said prior to that, he really wasn't able to see like the mistakes he was making or the, the fake friends or the fake people he was associating with, you know, but catching that case, um, that Fed case has really opened his eyes. He's had a lot of time to, to sit back, man, and, and reevaluate, you feel me? Just being locked up, how do you think it affected your personal growth? I mean, like, as far as my personal growth, bro, like, it, it really, I feel like it saved me from myself. Like, I, I look at it, I take it like like a like, like an NBA player who, you know, might got injured and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's sometimes it's best to take yourself out the game and instead of being in the game, you know, watch the game and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, like, now, now, instead of me being in the game, I'm watching it. From a federal prison. So, you know, it's easy for me to see the mistakes I was making. I can't, I won't be able to make it no more, like. For those who don't know, you know, H and I C Pesh, um, a rapper out of Detroit, represent Joy Road. He got caught up in um a beef with a, a, another guy off Joy, you know, another uh, Detroit rapper, Baby James, who passed away um from health problems. You know, you know they were into a, a beef, man. It got real serious, and you know, allegedly, you know, H and I C Pesh, um, and his people were gunning, you know, gunning at Baby James and his family, you know. Baby James's uh, mom's business was reportedly shot up. His his grandmom's place was shot up. You know they tried to get him at a strip club, but it was it was like you know some back and forth. When I had the opportunity to chop it up with Baby James, man, a few years ago, he opened up about how how everything started, um, really from an altercation in the mall where they recorded him, you know, running. I actually don't even know the guy. Like you feel me? Like I don't even know the nigga for real. He like. Like, like, back, like, like I say, when we was in a group, like, I know H and I C people. I grew up with them. I used to hang with them. But, like, it was, like, kid shit. Like, that shit been squashed. So, like, we used to do diss songs on them. They ain't never rapped and shit. They never did shit back. So, like, 
seven years later, he pop out a, a rapper claiming HLIC. He's taking shots at us because we on the rise at this time. We the hottest niggas in the city. You feel me? So he making diss songs. He making diss songs and shit to get himself known. You know what I'm saying? So, but like I said, like I probably saw the guy like probably two times ever. But like when we was at the factory hall and all them little club basement parties and shit like that, I'll never remember him. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. So I just like. I feel like he was just trying to be a rap man, like, and started that, and I just happened to see him, and then, like, it's a, like, long story, you know what I'm saying, long story. But, oh, y'all actually ran into each other? Yeah, there's more, it's footage of them in the mall running, running and shit when they saw me and shit, that's how everything got critical, you know what I'm saying, after that, shootouts and all that type of shit got going after that, because they was embarrassed from running through the mall, so after that, shootouts every other day. Like, no. It was actually over my jury. Like my jury got stole. My house got broken too. My jury got stole. Mm -hmm. Everything got stole. Mm -hmm. And then I actually ran into the nigga that actually did it. But he already knew I had previous problems with them. You know what I'm saying? So when I ran into the nigga that actually did it, I ran his pockets. Mm -hmm. And then at the like it was just like a year later. Then then nah, they pop up. On the internet, I already bought new jewelry and everything. I ain't never cried about it on the internet. Never, nobody never knew nothing about it. So when they came out saying like they took my jewelry from me, like they saw me out and basically took my shit from me. They was on the internet making videos. So after that, I ran into them at the mall. They dropped their bags and get them running. You know what I'm saying? My little cousin caught one of them, beat beat one on their ass. I think it was Ken and shit. He fucked him up. And then. After that, it was just shootouts. Cause I never stopped, like you know what I'm saying. I would never stop living my life. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying. It fucked up a lot of money, like party wise. I stopped having to like feel me. I stopped throwing parties for a while, and then you know what I'm saying. I just like you feel me. Can't beef and get money at it. So I got to focus on one thing, and then I wound up getting locked up, doing six months, and then when I got locked up. I guess he got locked up as I was already locked up. So when I came home, he was locked up. So that's basically how shit died down. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then now, one of their mans telling them, and they, they all locked up, and one of their mans snitching on them about, he got jammed for some other shit, but he said he got information on them trying to do something to me. So he just jammed both of them, all of them up. You know what I'm saying? In, in that entire situation, has it ever been... <laughs> A situation where somebody's tried to label you like as telling on them or anything like that? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. He was he was like one of the uh, main dudes trying to say like I'm snitching and shit like that. But but he did an interview, I guess, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't listened to it though, but they said, like people that saw it, they was like, yeah, he ain't say you snitching. He's saying that his man's snitching. H-N-I-C, Fetty, that's the nigga snitching. So he snitched on them. Mm -hmm. So on and so forth. But it went from there to, you know, H-N-I-C wanting they get back and... You know, they conspired to, according to, you know, the charges, man, they conspired to take Baby James out and, you know, tried on multiple occasions. But Baby James, you know, said it wasn't one sided in his interview. He let it be known that it was shootouts between them. You know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't just H and I C gunning for them. But yeah, you know, Pesh, he got, he got caught up in a, an indictment, man. They charged him with conspiring to murder Baby James, uh, racketeering, the shooting outside the strip club where innocent bystanders were hit, you know, all of that. He got hit with 32 years. His brother got hit with 14 years. Self-professed violent gang members bragging about their murderous ways now sentenced to federal prison after they were caught planning to murder a rival gang member who embarrassed them on social media. Operating on Detroit's west side, original members of the gang known for drug dealing, intimidation, violence, and attempted murders, HNIC, or Head Blanks, in charge, brothers Antoine and Austin Woods, charged with 17 counts, including racketeering, conspiracy to commit murder, and obstruction of justice. The apparent leader, Antoine Woods, sentenced to 32 years in prison, and his older brother, Austin, sentenced to 14 years. Back in October of 2015, after rival member Baby J James embarrassed the Woods brothers on social media. The duo vowed to not only kill him, but also hurt his family. Several shootings followed, two homes shot up. And the same day, Antoine bragging, quote, we don't conversate, we demonstrate, red rum. 
The brothers trying to shoot baby James outside a Detroit strip club, instead hitting an innocent bystander and shooting up another woman's car. And since the plan didn't work, court documents say after posting, quote, about to hit him where it hurt now, the brothers shot up his grandmother's home and his mother's hair salon. Thankfully, no one hit. H and I see Pesh um, in an interview, man, he said that prison saved him from himself, you know. He ain't glorify prison at all. You know, he was pretty much saying that it was a wake up call for him as far as realizing like who he truly had around him. He said before he went away, he actually prayed, uh, asked, asked God to remove his fake friends out of his life. And he said once he he said once he got hit with the case, everybody disappeared, man. So his, his prayer was answered. His prayers was answered. You know, unfortunately, you know, it happened in a way where, you know, he's locked up and, he, you know, He's locked up fighting for his freedom, you know, um, 32 years in the feds, man. Um, he said that it, it really opened his eyes, man. But uh, y'all go check out that interview. Just want to report on that, man. H and I C Pesh, most definitely a, a talented artist out of Detroit. Sad to see, you know, how everything panned out. It's unfortunate that it made it to the point it did with him and baby James, man. But yeah, man, just want to report on that. Shout out to everybody tuning in and rocking with a humble soul. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit the button ASAP, man. It's greatly appreciated. Until next time, I'm going to holler at y'all 100.